the dinosaur who lost his roar. Written by Russell Hunter and Andy Elkins. Deep inside the forest lived a dinosaur named Sid. Roar! He always got in trouble for noisy things he did. Spike was picking berries. Sid crept up like a cat. He let out such a mighty roar that Spike got covered splat. That wasn't funny, Sid, growled Spike. The juice went in my eyes. Enjoy your breakfast, Sid replied. Who else can I surprise? Ross was standing by the pool to see what he could catch. When Sid let out a mighty roar, poor Ross went tumbling splash. I hope to like your swim, Ross. You'll dry out in the end. That wasn't funny, Ross replied. I thought you were my friend. Sid saw Ellie hunting eggs. He sneaked behind her back. He let out such a mighty roar. The eggs went flying crack. An excellent surprise, laughed Sid. You just can't beat my roar. But when he went to bed that night, his throat felt rough and sore. The next day, Sid saw Spike again and went to play his joke. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a croak. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Ross was balanced on a rock. Sid went to scare him off. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a... Uh... <coughs> ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid tiptoed up to Ellie, but struggled, though he might. No roar would come out, just a rasp. His throat felt oh so tight. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid spent the whole week getting well with honey and sweet tea. Oh, I wish I hadn't played those tricks. Now the joke's on me. Soon, Sid felt fit to see his friends. I'll show them I'm not mean. But when he reached the berry bush, Spike could not see. Spike could not be seen. Ross was missing from his pool. Sid sensed that things weren't right. He spotted scary footprints, and they gave him quite a fright. Sid was getting worried. What would he come to next? Then came a shock beyond a rock. Tyrannosaurus Rex! Sid hoped he could had his voice back. But how could he be sure? He took the most enormous breath and gave a mighty roar. The T-Rex headed for the hills. Sid's pals were safe once more. 
Three cheers for Sid the Hero. You're the greatest dinosaur. And what became of Bad T-Rex? Well, he was seen no more. He just kept right on running, still scared by Sid's great roar.